And what were you going to remind me? Picture. I'm telling you, it's tough to get help these days, you know? Okay. Okay. And what does it say on there? Borax. Borax. Okay. And the reason for this is, again, remember I've talked about Kelly Norwood, the disbarred the, the, the uh, University of California Berkeley lawyer, defrocked, who is my sales manager. And he said, Peter! A boy like you ought to sell every fucking one that walks through the door. And I sold 94.6. And I was sick to my stomach about the uh, 4 point, um, uh, 5.4 people that got away. Anyway, he also had another uh, bit of words of wisdom. And, um, and it's basically what we do at this seminar. Uh, and uh, for those of you, um, this is before computers, etc. This was in the um, late 60s or early 70s, I should say, he said, um, the, um, we know garbage in, garbage out uh, from computers, and we know that um, the, um, the, even if you um, take the stuff off the hard drive, people, forensic scientists can still see what you know, you've had on your computer, etc. But what, what we do here uh, is, as he said, he says, uh, Pina, you got, we got to boraxo their brains. Meaning we have to whitewash, we have to take the data out of their head, uh, and this was vis-a-vis how to sell people, uh, and put new data. And back in the 50s and early 60s, there was a commercial on television called Mule Train, 20 Mule Train Borax Soap. And it was, and the sales, uh, or the um, selling person of it was Ronald Reagan before he became president. <clears throat> And he would sit there uh, looking uh, not so presidential, and he would tell you how you can get Baraxo soap. And Baraxo soap is this, it's like really uh, gritty soap. But Baraxo soap used to take the fucking skin right off your hands. And I didn't know that they still sold it, and Jeff saw that they were selling it someplace. At the grocery store, and there it was. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, basically what we're doing at this seminar is we're Baraxing your fucking pea brains. We're taking all the information that you've been given heretofore, uh, vis-a-vis uh, political correctness, uh, conventional wisdom, uh, it's hard to raise money, etc., uh, etc. Et and we're showing you a different way. But it's not easy to borax through your brain. Just as it's difficult to wipe a, cl- a hard drive clean, uh, you will think you're forensic scientists because you'll search back in your little pea brains for the information that I boraxed out this week. And the more often that you'll go back to search for that information is when you go back home and you start talking to these fucking idiots, which heretofore were your buddies, hanging out, family, etc. Those same people that you go to the sports bars, drink, belch, and fart with. And pretty soon, slowly, by, uh, slowly but surely, they'll edge back into your brain, the information that I've tried to boraxo out, that I've tried to wipe clean. That's why we have the weekly reports. Because every time I see that you're drifting back, I slap you in the fucking head. And that's why we have the um, monthly conference calls. Uh, And occasionally, even some of your classmates will slap you back into reality. Now, I told you I don't want you to bond and I'm not, I, don't want, I don't want you to sw- sw- uh, swap intellectual spit back and forth, but you will. You'll email each other. And when you feel insecure and you feel like a cunt, you'll email da, 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 or you'll email somebody that's been here more than once. Oh, is that, you know, I'm having trouble. Yeah, okay. I'm not telling you to do that. You'll do it anyway. Last group actually got a website. They have a Facebook where they swap intellectual bullshit back and forth. It's, cl- it's a closed, it's a closed Facebook, I, I don't know what that means, but uh, regular shit bags can't get in it. Um, I'm, re- I'm not recommending you do that. But so one of you pea brains is gonna suggest, oh, let's get a Facebook account so we can, we can swap information, we can tell our war stories and how fucking hard it is out there and then they really tell us it was this fucking hard. He didn't tell us people were going to slam the phone down on our fucking... I, I didn't know it was that hard. Fuck. And that's what will happen.
no matter what you think, after giving this for 21 years, I know what happens. But even in spite of yourselves, some of you will succeed quickly. In spite of yourselves, stepping on your own dicks, some will succeed a little faster. And in spite of yourselves, wrapping your dicks around your neck and trying to choke yourself to death, you'll get across the goal line. In spite of, your, in spite of all the self-sabotaging shit you can think of. And then one or two of you are going to go on another course. And I tell you, you don't need any fucking courses. Meaning in another seminar. Amen. Yeah. And you're going to fucking uh, uh, listen to Podfox. And you're going to go, you're going to, and some of you are even going to buy a motherfucking book. Or a Kindle fucker. Or something you're going to, which is going to say exactly the antithesis of what I'm telling you. And it'll open in your little pea brain and you're going to have questions. And many of you won't have the balls to ask me the question because you know what I'll do. I'll rip your fucking head off and shit down your neck. Metaphorically speaking, of course. <laughs> Metaphorically. Because it's not easy out there. <clears throat> it's tough. But if you want to get on the Hall of Fame and you want to run with the fucking big dogs and pee in the fucking tall grass, and get off the porch and start licking your, stop licking your balls. You'll do what the fuck I tell you here. And what has been successful with tens of thousands of others. Now we've just talked about goals. Contrary to what you've been told about setting goals. And this is for my 2015 goals, which I've already set, which I'm still working on. My own QLA, this is me, 2015 goals. To qualify, they must be one, fucking bold. Two, unrealistic. Three, bodacious. Four, over the fucking top. And five, unconventional. And last but not least, that you cannot accomplish in your fucking miserable lifetimes. Which is exactly the opposite of what you cunts have been told all your fucking lives. But it works. It fucking works. We just talked about the 15 months it took me from the time I decided I wanted to live in a castle on an island to the time I fucking moved into this place. Not this place, because this is the pavilion, but the castle next door. If I had asked you, <coughs> if you were alive 30 years ago, some of you weren't alive 30 years ago, you would have said, not, not, this is not possible. And the English was in, actually, Mr. Penna, I don't believe that you have a, a, a ghost chance... In hell, you know, I don't, I don't believe that's possible. Well, it is possible. And we have other people <clears throat> in the Hall of, of uh, Fame that have uh, accumulated and created wealth in very short periods of time because they had big, bodacious goals. Big, bodacious goals. And you can as well. But to the extent that you allow conventional wisdom to creep back in your little pea brains after I boaxo them clean it'll be only making it more difficult for yourself only making it more difficult for yourself now tonight your homework is to write your goals and affirmations we've already been through that and tomorrow morning we will go over uh, in some detail your goals and affirmations and I want them bold I want them over the top. I want them to be unrealistic. As I've said before, even though I don't agree with the President Obama, a lot of his administration, one thing I do take my hat off to him for him, uh, relationship is he set bold goal to be the president, the first black, he didn't actually see the black president, but he's the first black president in the United States when he was just a kid, and that's pretty fucking heavy considering where the world was when he was a kid vis-a-vis you know, when he became president six or six and a half years ago. Did you have a question? Yeah, what's your minimum requirement to get onto, onto the Hall of Fame? It varies. <clears throat> it varies. We got people that created eight figures and billions, and we got uh, people that created tens of millions. And we got a couple people that didn't create big wealth at all, but they're at the top of their game 
they're the leader in the country or the world. Uh, and um, we have a couple athletes there that represented their country. Um, the, uh, so th there's no real, you know, 10 million gets you there, 5 million gets you there, you know, 1 billion gets you there. We've got all those, though. We've got all those. <clears throat> it's the measurement is being all you can be. Being all you can be. And uh, the, um, you know, as I've told you before, we've got people that are doing <coughs> six million a month up there. We've got people that created 200 million. <coughs> and we've got people that uh, are running big multinational corporations. And we've got a, a sitting governor, which I didn't even know he got reelected. So it depends. It all depends. So you're not going to get an email or a post. Do, you know, do they still send postcards? You're not going to get a postcard that says, oh, you made it. <laughs> uh, just like there's no um, benchmark to get on the Hall of Shame. I say tongue in cheek with a little sarcasm. There's a couple of you there more likely to be on that wall <laughs> than that wall uh, just because of your proclivity for, uh, shall we say, um, no, we won't say that. We, we just, the, the, you know, for the, perhaps the, the type of business that you're in or the type of business that you're contemplating being in. Any questions about goals other than how much does it take to, to, to make it uh, to the um, Hall of Fame? It's also not likely any of you are going to be in my influence list. That's not absolute, but it's not likely. Most of the people up there are dead. But uh, the, uh, maybe as a mercy fuck, I, uh, and when you die, I might throw you up there for a couple of months just for fun. <laughs> okay, on that happy note, talk to you later, YouTubers.